With the community playlist update, brings in some new maps of Solution, Vagabond, which kind of has a bit of a new Mombasa feel to the whole thing, Curfew, which I actually had a chance to jump on and play. It's a recreation of the ODST Slayer map from Halo 5, and so it actually does play out rather well. And they do state that later on within the community playlist, the map Nemesis will be coming in, which I made an entire video on this map by itself because this is how good it is. Though you'll see with the community collection playlist, when you go to the game list here, most of it is actually around most of the new maps a lot of the actual map combinations that we had previously were removed and we still have like absolution in there we do have salvation and also starboard but we also have curfew and they want to focus more on the new stuff coming in which i actually personally would agree with also don't forget we have the recreation of plaza from halo 5 coming in with season 3 of halo infinite this is most likely coming in with the second half of the narrative event and according to this leak here on reddit it says that the second narrative event should be coming around the early part of may i'm sure the big question a lot of you guys are asking is how well do these maps play out and of course when you want to play the new content you have to play the old content first isn't that basically how it always works out i mean no complaints though this is like i've said earlier a fantastic map but again like i just kind of want to play the new stuff man though i do love this recreation of the classic map of midship brought into halo infinite and it plays out so well it's so much fun to play on this is like going to get one of those forge maps where if you didn't tell me it was a forge map i'd probably just think it's a dev map that's gotcha, about it. Oh gosh, we're getting pushed. We're getting pushed. No, no, hit me with that. Don't catch me with that. Every pulse are right out of that. That's fun. Oh my god, that battle rifle is a straight up power weapon when you're playing against guys with sidekick starts. I love it. But yeah, since this is the right old content, we've already talked about it. If nothing cool happens in the rest of this game, I think we'll just kind of switch over right about now. Now, this is going to be my very first time ever playing this map. So I have no idea what the lines of sight are, how I get easily blown up by a rocket launcher. That guy knew exactly where to go. But I've always found a really good thing to do when you don't know how to play a map is just use the AI scan highly underutilized like some of you guys out here might not realize how useful the ai scan really is like even in competitive play it's super useful i mean some pros even talk about how where you can actually just use it for extra information to know say like where a weapon drop was or if you don't know if that player dropped with an extra rocket in the backpack or something like that you know there's no reason to go run out to that section well then you don't have to run out there and put yourself at danger to being well slain by the enemy Oh, you're not gonna get me like that, dude. That's way too aggro of you to do that. There's a guy down here, though, we can pick up, right? That's oh, right, no friendly damage. I can run through that, no problem. Oh, gosh, there's too many of them. I'm feeling just totally lost in the sauce right now with this map. There is so much to take in when it comes to just angles and understanding the map. This isn't like your simple little three lane map that you see all the time in shooters nowadays. This. Oh, they just picked up rockets. I saw that. I'm not going down that way. Just for kind of for general formality of like understanding how the map design is for easy pickup kind of stuff. But this map, I would say, doesn't exactly follow your conventional map design, which is fun. It's like one of the cool things you can do with social maps where, you know, like, okay, well, it doesn't have to be super competitive. You can just make it how you want it as long as it plays out well enough and relatively balanced and can be fun to kind of jump around in and just shoot stuff then yeah, put it in social, man. Like in social again, like I don't really care too much about map balance or, you know, does this map work for Halo and stuff like that. If it's fun, put it in the game. When it comes to ranked or something, then I'm like, yeah, we need to make sure that it's properly balanced and, you know, all the annoying, boring stuff. Now, the action is high on this map too. Holy crap. It seems like every time I just spawn, I'm getting into some form of a gunfight. I like this little elevation right here though. This is cool. Oh, yeah. Especially with side kick starts. If you can find a battle rifle, I mean, it's going to be GG. Let's see if we can get those rockets that are popping up here. Teammate on. Nice job. Teammates don't want to pick up. No, I want the camo. Oh. Oh, where the hell did this guy come from? Dude, was he was he on my radar? I don't think he was. Maybe he was, and I'm just oblivious and so focused on like trying to understand how the heck this map works out. By the way, you guys fans of the bandit rifle in 4v4? Because personally, oh my goodness, that guy tried to montage me. I'm not the biggest fan. I feel like most of the arena maps that a sidekick will do you much better, and there's not really that much in the way of ranged options that within arena maps where a DMR would probably work out better. I mean, I think it works out fine as a starting weapon within big team battle. Because one thing I like about it is that it puts more emphasis on the sandbox that so you have to like pick up stuff so you can like do better at the game rather than just kind of just spawn with something good and not have to worry about picking anything up. I think that's part of the fun of Halo is scavenging for fun, good stuff to use. 
I cannot be teammate. If since it's also a pickup weapon, about as rare as a battle rifle, which I'm finding quite often on the floor, which is so nice. I'd much rather have a sidekick. I would much rather have an assault rifle, even. I would much rather have a much, much rather have a battle rifle for sure. I'm gonna get these rockets right here. Is it my turn this time? I think so. I'll just use a grapple shot so we can just fling ourselves around. Some fun angles. Not quite. There's only two rocket shots in this one for social brother. No! I like these fun jump spots though. These are cool. Like right up here, up to this ledge. Like right there, you can still do pretty decent damage at that range with a psychic. That's definitely outside of re intended red radical range. And you can definitely get a faster time to kill with a psychic than you can a bandit rifle. What did I say? Right there. Exactly perfect example of what I'm talking about right there. Like you can easily shoot outside the intended range of the psychic and be rather effective. By the way, this game we're going to be focused on getting assault rifle kills so we can get our challenges completed. I mean, I have winning the matches as a challenge, but we all know what happened last time. New map. Here we go. All right, another new one. I'm excited. I'm liking the rotation now. We get, you know, we started off a little bland at first, but now we're getting to some cool stuff. Can I get the sniper over here though? Like this? All right, yeah. All right, first start. So good. Oh my god, I'm getting bullied over here. Well, that wasn't very nice now, was it? Get him out of here. We gotta make sure we at least have one hill. These guys are getting greedy. Oh god, these guys are getting greedy on my life. I need this assault rifle kill. Stop! There we go. That's what I was trying to do that last time, okay? You're not getting proof. You guys know I do know how to do this. Oh my god, they're all over me. Dude, this map does look pretty dang cool, though. Like, it does got a lot of similar materials as the previous maps, but just having a, just like a little bit more of a rougher, grittier tone to the whole thing, which I think is pretty dang cool. Though, this is another map I'm really trying to understand the layout a little bit better here. Of course, it doesn't help that I'm playing as guys who have like Onyx emblems in their name while I'm also just trying to just chill and for some social gameplay, but hey, I mean, that's skill-based matchmaking for you right there. Oh, get that assault rifle in your face. If you can set up with the sniper rifle, I think you can do quite well on this map, but it does seem like to be very focused on like longer hallways. So if we can try to get that sniper later in this game, I'd be quite happy about it. But oh, oh my God, this is how you, that's not how you throw a nade. That's exactly how you don't throw a nade. That's, uh, man, I booked a one-way ticket on the struggle bus and I am the lead captain of that bus right now. Why are there so many of you on this map? Holy crap! Oh, we got a triple though, let's go! And this one definitely feels much more like three lane, kind of like I was talking about earlier, but it's like three long hallways, but with cross sections that you can kind of utilize to get across the map as well. So it doesn't feel so choke pointy, I guess is the way, but this map definitely does have its choke points though. Let's call it spade a spade here. No, why were there all three of you be up in this walkway? <laughs> yeah, I think this map so far actually kind of plays out rather interesting. It's not a straightforward map that you would expect to see. It's a bit mazy, which is definitely a new twist on like just what you map the experiences you can have within Halo Infinite. I mean, you can definitely kind of jump down and do like this kind of stuff to kind of get maybe the sniper rifle that's going to pop up here in like five seconds or just get sweated out by a guy with an onyx emblem. Oh my God. Yeah, take it. I didn't want it. Go have have fun. You can do you. You do you, babe. I do like how it kind of has a coherent color scheme to the whole thing with the grays, the whites, and the yellows. I have a lot of continuity on the map, which definitely helps out with this visual presentation. Though I do feel like since it is kind of like uses that visual presentation pretty much throughout the entirety of the map, if your first time through, it can be a little disorienting of trying to figure out where exactly you are. Dude, just let me kill you. I'm just doing challenges. I'm just doing challenges, bro! Somehow we're winning this game and it's definitely not because of me. Holy crap. I become the very thing I was so to destroy. Last game, I'm giving my teammates crap for not carrying the weight. And then what am I doing? Not carrying the weight. But we just captured this. I just captured this. Oh, what uh, battle, dude. Oh, I had to try my damnedest just to stay alive right there. Somehow we made it work. What, there's a hole up here you can utilize? Where'd you get that? Where'd you find this hole? No, uh, I mean, I would have gone for the melee, the trade at least, but I'm going for these assault rifle kills, man. Yeah, we gotta win. It's not because of me, but <laughs> I forgot to turn on the jets while playing social matchmaking. I mean, I was trying for like the riverboat cruise technique, but uh, you can see the score. 
That was supposed to be a freaking hydroplane just zipping across the water. So I'm glad there's new content to jump in and play. Glad to see the forges out there are getting their highlights that they so gratefully deserve. My request, season four, could we get a BTB community playlist? Let me know if you guys want to see that in the comments down below.